Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to the new video. So as you can see, it's a very old way starting problem, but still I have taken this problem because the way I'm going to explain you, I'll use different colors, different everything. So I have to explain you the dummy link, the, the nodes and everything. So let, let's start the question itself. Uh, copy list with a random pointer. I'll just show you that what you have to do is entirely make a deep copy of an existing link list. What we mean by a deep copy is that let's say if I am given an original copy, which means I have some nodes, uh, I have their next pointers and kind of just to make the problem complex they are also given some random pointers which means for this node let's say for this node a random pointer is pointing to this node 11 so we are also having this this random pointers so what we have to do is we have to make a dummy or like a deep copy which means exactly same exactly same node values exactly same next pointers exactly same dummy pointers also and this we have to make this is the input which we are given and this is what we have to do in the entire problem now coming on back it is what we are given as the original stuff right so one very standard very basic way which comes in our mind is okay Aryan, um what i can do is i can just iterate on this original list now when i'm iterating i can meanwhile parallelly keep on making the dummy list or like the the the, the, the list which is the copy list so i can make a seven i can move on and I can also keep a pointer to this, let's say copy pointer, it is the original pointer P. So I can just move on in the pointer and I can just keep on making the copy pointer and this list. So this can happen. But what about uh, the, what about the random pointers, the random pointers, because for random pointer, let's say node 10 or first, let's say uh, this node 13. The random pointer is not 7. Okay, that, that is already made. But still, how would you know the new node which is there? Random pointer for node 13 is for the node 7. But node 7 is the address. Node 7 can be many. I can say, okay, it is also a node 7. It has a value 7. But address can be different. So both nodes, this node and this node are different. So firstly, how will you even make sure how will you even make sure that if i just ask you random pointer of node 13 is pointing to node 7 so what you have to do is you have to go and say okay although right now when your p is here your cp will be here your p is here your cp will be here so for sure your pointer is here your copy pointer is here but your your pointer's random value, your pointer's random value is pointing to node 7. But your copy pointer's random value, whom to point? You should know that it should point to the copy node of node 7. The copy node of node 7. So basically, you, you saw what happened. Like, we kind of need a mapping from the actual node to the copy node. Or basically from the pointer to the copy pointer. So that whenever I want to point the random pointers, which means from this position, the pointers random, the pointer as in for the value 13, the random pointer is pointing to 7. For this copy of 13, it should point to the copy of 7. But I only have for 13, I have given, okay, it's, a, it's pointing to 7 and I have to anyhow know what is the copy pointer of node 7 so that I can point the copy pointer of 13 to copy pointer of node 7 and that is how we kind of know okay we kind of need a mapping from the original node to the copy node that's it so that is what we can do is we will kind of have a map from actual your and like let's say I name the original node as the blue node and the copy one or the, the, the one which I'm making a deep copy as a red one. So I will kind of would be needing to have a map as in the in the first iteration, I can just simply keep on building this new nodes as I showed you. Okay, I can have a pointer, I can have a copy pointer, and I can just keep on building this entire new nodes. But to actually build the random, random pointers, so assign a random pointers of this new build entire deep copy i need to have this mapping from the original node to the copy node now when i have this mapping now how this mapping will help me is okay i will have a mapping from this blue blue is the original and red is the copy from original i have to a copy so that 
as soon as I act, I can access original node with using a map, I can access the copy node. So what will happen is now my main task was to assign the random pointer of the red node. Right, red is the again, red is the new node which I am making, blue is the existing node. See, again, it is a method one, it may or may not be optimal, right? So, I just want to get the red node's random pointer. So, red node, ra red node's random pointer, I need to get. How I can get? Simply, I know, okay, for a specific PTR, PTR is actually a blue node. So, if my PTR is pointing here, so map of PTR will point to the red node, which means the copy node. And its pointer I need to actually map 13s, right? But whom it will be mapped to? It will be mapped to PTR's random pointer. PTR's random pointer is actually a actually a node 7. So node 7, which means PTR's random pointer, assign and get the map value which will give me the copy node, which is a red node. It, 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 it will give me, and I can just get the red node from this. And you can see it is a red node, which is the random node for node 13. So here from this, I'm pointing red nodes random value to the actual red nodes random value. And this is how you can use a map to actually use and build the entire deep copy. But again, you see that you are using an extra space kind of map. And when I say extra space, you know that you have to for sure make a deep copy, which means n new nodes will be for sure made. Now, apart from that, an extra space of using a map is being used here. I'm not referring the space. I'm using the extra space, right? So can we optimize it? Yeah, we can for sure. Now comes the most optimal way to solve it. Now we know that, okay, uh, what we were doing by using a map, by using a map, I was kind of storing, okay, for a specific blue node, what is the corresponding red node, right? I'll use a white uh, so as to not disturb both of them. So for a corresponding blue node, I was using a red node, blue node corresponding red node. So I was kind of mapping them, right? So instead of mapping them, ultimately my mapping main purpose was, okay, if I am at a blue node, I should very fastly get what is the corresponding red node. If I'm a blue node, I should very fastly get what's the corresponding red node. So rather than just mapping it like this, what I could also do is just place them side by side. So for one, the copy node is one. For two, copy node is two. For three, copy node is three. For four, copy node is four. With this, I can easily know, okay, if it is this, if the original node is this, then the next one will always be a copy node of that. So with this, I will be able to access my new nodes which I'm making very fast. So as to I don't have to use a map instead of it, which means I just place it up like side by side. So for sure, one thing is to just get the reflection of what map was doing. I thought, okay, let's make the copy node of each node and link them side by side. So earlier blue nodes were the original nodes and red nodes were the new nodes which I am making right now. So what I will simply do is, and for sure, you have only the blue nodes as the input, which means blue node, blue node, blue node, blue node, and blue node next, blue node next, blue node next, and the blue nodes random pointers and stuff. Now I have to bring in, I have to firstly for sure, make the red nodes because red nodes are not yet made. I will make the red nodes and will place them at their locations, which means, okay, red nodes I will make and will place after blue, okay. Uh, again, I will move my uh, pointer to the next blue node and I will make a red node and I place it after blue. I'll again move my pointer next and I'll keep, I'll keep, I'll keep on moving. So for sure, it's a while loop which will go on, but initially, you know, your iterator or your pointer will be pointing to the first blue node. Now again, you know that as you are gonna place a next red node after this blue node, so please, please, please at least uh, keep a variable of the next pointer because earlier earlier as you see that it would not be here only a link from here to here will be there so as a red node will be coming in as a red node will be coming in so this connection would be lost this connection would be lost right this connection would be lost so please keep this connection which means please keep this node with you so what I will do is I will use a next to actually keep my iterators next. Now, okay. Now I have the next of my original node, which means blue address, next address I have right now clear with me safe. I can actually now move ahead, move ahead and break this connection between the seven and 13 because I have the address of 13. I'm good with it. Now, again, my task was to make the copy of node seven. So what I will do is I will, I will make a new node. I'll make a new node with the same value as that of the node 7. Okay, now my copy node is made. Again, I have to attach it to the, attach it next to the blue node. So I know, okay, iterator, it is pointing here, iterator, copy node is actually at this location, copy, and next is at this, at this, it's a next. 
Now I know I have to point iterators next to copy and copy is next to this particular next. It is what I have to ma make. So I'll do it. iterators next to copy and copy is next to next. And ultimately, again, this connection is made. Again, repeat the entire same process by repeating your process having pointer iterator again to this point. So I'll just make iterator point back to next. And now the simply loop on loop keeps on going back. So what you have seen so far is that you have made such kind of a connection side by side, side by side, such that you can easily access your copy node very fast without using a map, without using a map. Now, now great. And see, it is the exact code which you will be writing. So it so understand this very carefully. No, not even a single line I will I will write apart from this. It is exact in this order itself. ITR, I next ITR. In this, in this order only, you will be actually writing the code itself in the code. So please make sure that you understand this very clearly. Now for sure that you have assigned your new nodes. Now the task is to assign the random pointer where it's the main task. Now, how it will help me? Simply, I know that let's say my ITR is pointing here at this point. Now I want my ITRs next because ultimately ITR, ITR, if the blue node random point is already signed, it's very good for me. But I want ITRs next, which is actually a red node. Red nodes random pointer I want to assign. Okay, cool. So ITRs random pointer will be actually this, right? ITRs random pointer is actually this. But ITRs next, which means red points random pointer will be nothing but the random value of this. Node 7. So I know, okay, if ITR is this, ITR random pointer is this. Okay, blue node, blue node random pointer is this. Blue nodes next is the red node. Okay, red node is this. And blue nodes next node is this node, red node. So random value, random values next node, which means blue random value. Next node is red, red random value. So I know that, okay, ITR next is the, is the new node, which I have to make. And it's next. ITR random next will be actually the new random node. So I know that, okay, ITR random next is the new random node. ITR next is the new node. So simply ITR next, which is the new node, its random value will be nothing but this value, which is ITR random next. And this is the only code just to assign the random values of the new node. Now, ultimately, okay, your ITR is done. Simply move your ITR to here. So what I will do is I'll point ITR my to the next to next, which means ITR next, next. ITR will now point to this location. ITR and still again, loop will for sure keep on going. Just a simple while loop so that, okay, I'll just simply reach the end. Now, okay, random points are also assigned, but, but, but your point was to return the head of your deep copy, which means your head should be pointing to this start value and it should only have the red, 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 red values. So ultimately you have to like attach both of the original list and the deep copy list. Although because these two are linked together each other. So you have to attach them. How you will do it? Simply, simply just having a, a, a dummy pointer. So you will start with a pseudo head or a, a I mean pointer now your main concern is to just get off firstly just get off the red nodes out of it and attach them side by side and also meanwhile keep on attaching the blue nodes also because you don't want to uh, like make the input as bad so input will remain as it is now like you have to basically make the input as it is and also get the output of what you want so what we will we will do is we will have a copy ITR for, for firstly we will have a pseudo head pointing to the head itself, it will not change. It will still remain pseudo head so that in the end I can return pseudo heads next value because pseudo head will remain head. Now I will initially have my copy ITR, which will keep on moving in my copy nodes, which I have made. So copy ITR ultimately I also know that okay, my initial ITR will be at the initial starting head head it head was always there head head is always there so i made a pseudo head kind of step okay my copy head will be a pseudo head now okay itr i can point simply by saying okay itr is head itr is head now actually itr should move now how i'm concerned of getting the copy itr and itr also so simply uh copy itr's next value should be this now what is this this is itr's next itr's next so I can make a, like a legit a copy node or, or, or a kind of a copy pointer, which will say, okay, it is a copy pointer. Now copy pointer is nothing but ITR next. ITR next is the copy pointer. So I'll just say copy pointer is ITR next. Now I want to point my copy ITR again. 
copy pointers just a pointer which i am making right now but copy itr will keep on moving on the copy pointers right so again uh, copy pointer i have got copy as the itr is next now again my copy itr was pointing to sudo head right now it should move ahead to point to the copy node so i just say copy itrs next will point to the copy node and again uh, just simply make the copy itr here now because again the same process should repeat again and again so simply getting the copy itr pointing to the copy node so simply by this you will see that okay your red pointers will keep on attaching themselves after each other but again you also want to make the input as correct so please make sure okay itr itr firstly get off the next which is blue node which is actually next is nothing but itr next next i get the next next iterator okay next is pointing here now simply itrs itrs next should point to this actual next let's erase this entire stuff itr next should point to this next which i have already gotten so i have got the next first and while i have got it and see you should get this initially itself after this your itr will actually be gone so simply get the next first and then when the entire stuff this stuff is done then actually do, do this so it's a step 1 it's a step 2 it's a step 3 right that okay itrs next is actually your this for the next the variable which which you have made this next variable and simply again repeat this to actually get the entire list of the blue nodes red nodes and blue nodes and ultimately you can just return pseudo pointers next because pseudo pointers pseudo pointers next was pointing to the node 7 and that's how you can simply solve this again uh, exact same code as i showed you firstly we make the copy uh, nodes side by side to the actual original nodes and then we assign the random pointer exactly exactly same code as what i showed you above in the, in the uh, exp explanation then after the entire stuff is done we copy and extract the red nodes and the blue nodes exact same copy nodes exact same original nodes and ultimately return the pseudo next the code is down below for your reference again the time is o of n and also the space is o of n when i say i i mean the extra space i am not referring the copy i am not referring the deep copy which you are making because it will for sure take new o of n space but apart from that an extra space which is being used is actually o of n cool thanks so much for watching you know another good project bye bye and if you liked it then please like it it helps you motivate a lot and please 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 share with it with your friends yeah um as see like effort lagta hai and if you guys feel it then please help out cool bye bye thank you so much goodbye